You don't really want anyone around you a whole lot. don't mean any any disrespect when I do okay ah! oh! it's not okay I'll be back So, Pierre, tonight we're going to go through your house, okay? We're going to take some pictures. We're going to talk to you. We'd also really like to ask any other spirits that are here to come join us. We're not here to disrespect you at all. Just on her head. On her head. Talking about it again. Are you, are you, are you, are you talking about the doll that's over there in the corner? Are you talking about the doll that's over in the corner, Pierre? One with the hat on. Okay. There's something about that doll. Mm. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, so if you guys would cooperate with us, we have machines that you guys can talk to. You can also talk to us, give us impressions and words. So we can hear and feel you guys. If you want to knock on the walls, knock on the walls, make noises for us, bang, touch bang. one of us. If you want to run down the stairs, make it nice and active, okay? I do know that the owner said today or just recently she got burned on the back of her neck when she was taking a shower. Yeah, yeah. So whatever these things, whatever whoever it is, they're getting close to her. A little bit too close for my liking. Because yeah. that's not her loved one mm -mm. that's trying to do that to her. Pierre, did I meet you at the infantry school? I've been there a few times as a student and as core staff. Did you hear that? What was it? It just sounded like a little... Like over there though. And it's not that. Something different. Yeah. Your name sounds really familiar, Pierre. And uh, I think I might have met you before. I know if you were working on a course that I was on, or if you were up there and I met you through somebody else just in passing. But your name sounds really, really familiar to me. Yeah, you look familiar to me too. Did you work on my warrants course? Were you a lab driver on that warrants course that I was on? Were you a driver on the officer course? Um, I don't know if this makes any sense. But would you understand having been an instructor on a threes course? Does that make sense? Threes? Something three? I haven't been an instructor on it. I was a student on it. Okay. So maybe he was supporting staff when you were on that course? That's my threes course. My warrants course. Oh, you're, oh so, and that's what you were asking? Yeah. Because he showed me the number, like, or said the word three. And when you were asking that, it spiked to yellow. Oh, okay. Which is, is, the course is DP3. 
That was in 2012. Yeah, DC3 so he was Alpha. still then. He was going back and forth then. Interesting. Huh. So I would say definitely your paths have crossed. That's why I asked if he was a lab driver on the course. Ah, okay. She did say that the house gets really, really cold in certain areas at times. here with us? I feel him right beside me. Can you light up that machine again for us, please, with the lights, just to let us know that you're here. Pierre, are you here? I ask that you come forward, please. Can you make some noise for us? Oh, my head hurts. Right here. Oh. Pierre, is that you? That's making my head hurt. I hear him saying I don't want you in my room. I understand that, but we're not here to cause any issues for you. We just need to hear from you for your wife, okay? I find it hard to breathe up here. Yeah. Yeah. I think she keeps the door closed, maybe. I know your wife said that this was your bedroom. Is that correct? gone so quick he says he didn't even he didn't even realize what had happened and I don't feel like he even still understands it fully Pierre do you know that you're dead my lungs he says my lungs it's like Everything went bad on him, all in one moment. It's like his poor body just exploded. Yeah. Come closer, please, and light the lights up again, okay? Did you enjoy your time in the military? I just heard yes. Okay, well, that's good. That's good that you're communicating with me, but can you please use the machinery as well? Did you guys just hear footstep outside the door? Yes. Bed? Yeah. Okay. Somebody's out there. So... Your wife says that she hears footsteps up here around 5 a.m. Is that you? Can you make a noise for us again, please? Oh, oh. God, my whole body hurts sitting here. Make another noise, please. Oh, even my body's snapping. Is that your pain in your body that I'm feeling, Pierre? Come forward, please. Come on. Who else is here with us? Francois? Francois, were you Pierre's uncle? Mm, 
I feel very um, gripping a lump, lump right here in my throat. Who's here with us? What's your name? Francois, I feel you right here. Come closer, please. You don't have to be shy or scared. Why is this upsetting for you? Pierre, is that you that's upset? Is that you, Francois? Eat it. Wow. Eat it? Eat what? Is that a way of telling us off? Quite late. I... Hi. Who are you? Is there a... Is there a gentleman here by the name of Marcel? Yes or no, please. Okay. 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 So is there a Marcel here with us? I'm hearing yes. Oh, my head. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Did you just hear that inside the door again? Yeah. You guys went up there. I did a couple of things. Wow. What? Wow. What? Downstairs. K2 didn't stop. Really? Our K2 never went up? Ours didn't stop. Ours was in the red like the whole time. <laughs> it's not down. And then, where the K2 was, and we were sitting at the little table, I turned on the SLS. Mm -hmm. Dave, tell me you got it. I'll show you. Oh. Where'd you go? That's like right behind the K2. Really? Look at that. And where was that in the basement? We were sitting, sitting, at, sitting at the table. Okay. Thank you for touching the lights and coming here. Oh, my head hurts. Oh, my head hurts. I keep getting it over here on this side. It's like somebody's stabbing me in the head. Mm. Oh. The thing was, we asked if it was Francois. I come closer and to the light and red. red. Wow. That would be really and good. And the name Anne came through. Anne, okay. Okay. When we were in St. Basil, we got the name Anne. No, yes! No. Oh my god, we did! Why are you here? We did. We're just here to talk to you. Is there a phone ringing on our table? Are you okay with okay, talking to us? I just wonder what's making it go off. Okay. I just got, why are we here? Why are we here? We're here to talk to you guys. Look. Oh, it smokes. Didn't wow. stop. Wow. First, I wonder if they followed you guys and too busy talking to you guys. We heard footsteps a couple times mm -hmm. outside the door. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys just come up we before came we came up out? And we came right here and sat. Okay. Hmm. 
Do you want to go in her bedroom? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to sit in there. And because she said a ball rolled across the floor, too. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, there's definite activity in here. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, it's cold back here. Come on, kid. Oh, I got something going right up my back. Who's here? Good time of what? Okay, come back here to the closet. I'm going to actually get some pictures back here. Finds that there's stuff going on in here. Yeah. Ooh, something just long right to this Both closets on both sides. back here by the closets. Oh. Yeah, I think. You feel that? Mm. Yeah. I felt like something was going to grab my ankles. Oh, wow. There's activity back here. Big time. I didn't capture it, but there was something that flew in front of the camera. This is not, uh, this is not... Something just grabbed me. What? I just got an awful smell of body odor. Oh, it's body odor. Yep. This is not... Oh, something's touching my thumb. This is a male energy in here, right here, but it's not, it's not a Pierre or Francois. Who is this? Who's here? That, there's a military jacket in here. I'm going to touch this Pierre, and I certainly don't mean any, any disrespect when I do, okay? Ah! I'm not putting my hand in there. I know, right? Times. Yeah. Did you want to pull it out? jacket is that it doesn't have a name badge or anything on it but it's the it's the mustard uh, what would that be it's the like... cad pat for our, yeah that they have now yeah we we'll have to get Dave in and ask him yeah would that be for like winter yeah it's well a it's a liner jacket, for something yeah. so it could be just a liner for the hmm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? So, who is the other male presence if you're not Francois or Pierre? We were getting another. Oh, yeah, that just went off. Pardon? Is, it, is Mark or Marcel here? I just is saw a shadow. Right back behind there. me. Yeah. Right behind me. I could feel it. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen a shadow. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> I'm all excited. I could feel something right behind me. 
Who was that behind me? I know you're not trying to scare me. It just felt funny. That's all. Who are you? Is that Marcel or Mark? And who would you be? What? Oh, there's something over there. So this house, I think, it was just movement right over there. I get the feeling Pierre's redone a lot of this. Yes. So yeah. what was here? That's the question. Yeah. Like what was... Why are they, they in the closet area? Yeah. yeah. Before, because I'm sure it wasn't always the closet. No. No. It was something else. Yeah. Oh, he just told me he made a... Very good. Did you make a dog house, Pierre? No. <laughs> really? I'm way back here. Like two and one falling. Doesn't it almost look like when you're looking at that window back there that there's like a shadow inside of the curtain? Mm -hmm. Please remind me to ask his wife about the time that they dressed up for. Yeah, they dressed up for Halloween at a party or they dressed as Mardi Gras. They went to a Mardi Gras party. He's talking about feathers. So whoever's in the closet, is there a reason why you stay in that area? You really, you really need to move on. Chinese. I just Jesus, that's Chinese. I just Jesus, that's Chinese. I just saw a shadow through move through uh, the mirror. Ah. I was taking pictures of that mirror earlier. Yep, there's something. Marcel, it's time to let go. It's time to let go, buddy. Hearing him say I don't want to. Who is he? Hmm. So who are you, buddy? It's a family connection of something. Hmm. I'm gonna message her right now because that's driving me nuts. We need to know she can make a connection with Marcel. Mm. There's also. I feel like overall it's like a good energy in this house, but I feel like there's like a like a trickster energy too. Well, I'm wondering what's over there because that didn't like downstairs felt fine. Hmm. And it was the it was like the K2 did not stop. And then the SLS we he was there in the corner. Yeah. Of, you know. But it felt lighter. Like it felt falling, mm -hmm. but over in that corner feels a bit mm. fucking wonky. Yeah, and that's where the dog stands and barks and sniffs. And yeah. I feel like I want to go and sit between the two closet doors and say a prayer. Hmm, might be a good idea before we leave. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go sit on the floor in between them. Let me see if I can feel anything. Okay. Okay. The voice is too hot. My phone will it. Oh my god. Has it ever done that? Is that one? Oh. Wow.
Okay, let's turn this puppy off. It is too. <sighs> wow. I'm yeah, just going to lay right there. What's here around me? Is there any... Is there anyone right around me? Hmm. The temperature gauge. That's what just went off. Who's in here? This is not Pierre. And this is not Francois. My thumb. I feel my thumb again. Something touching my thumb. Do you mean any harm? Do you mean any harm? Are you here to watch over Regina? Ooh, I feel breeze blowing on my left side. And come closer, I can feel you. Mm. What is tormenting that little dog right here? Who are you? I can feel you. Feel it all around my hand and my arm. Oh, I just heard noise in the closet. Who are you? I just heard it again. Jesus. Do you guys hear that? No. I don't. What do you hear? It's like just rustling noise. <sighs> Who are you? It feels to me almost like there was an old staircase here. A back door. There's something. Do you want to open the door and sit with it open? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it about that. Oh, come on. The temperature gauge just went off again. closet door again. You can go ahead. I can see like a man's face in that closet. Who are you? It's an old man's face. He doesn't, it's almost like he doesn't have teeth. Like, you know how your face sinks in when you have no teeth? Pierre's grandfather, maybe? Mm. See you, Jay. Hello. <laughs> Mm. Keep coming. I can feel you. It's okay. I can just feel you really strongly. It's like a JG something. I can see. It's like I can see the face right in there. Why are you in the closet? You don't have to spend time in this closet. We'd ask that you leave these closets because this is really actually freaking the poor little dog Ben out. It's like his face is right at the back of the closet. Come on, come forward. You're not going to scare me. Oh, the, do you know what? He's not. It's not a bad feeling at all. It's just a bit of a freaky feeling. Come on, come forward. Come forward. There you go. There you go. I do. It's like his chin little, and his mouth are... Little puckered face. Yeah, puckered face. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I lived here, he says. Mm hmm Yeah. But there is, there's something about right here that there was back stairs, back door, there's something right here. Oh, you built this house. You built this house. So, just so you know, like, Pierre has passed away, and Regina, his wife, lives here now. 
with their little dog. And um, it's kind of scaring them a little bit. They know that you're here, but they don't know who you are. So, you know, have you passed over? You know, you don't have to stay here. You don't have to stay in a closet. I'm not sure why you're in there. But you can feel you in there because it's kind of creepy. I don't want to go. Hmm. Well, we'll see about that. We don't want to be rude to you by any means, but it really it is your time to move on. Mm, I see him again. Mm. Mm. I think we can close that now. <coughs> it's kind of interesting whether it was just by coincidence that that door closed when or stopped when I said stop. I don't know, but it's interesting. And when I was sitting here. I remember it was almost like I growled and smacked a door. Yeah, did. you did. Yeah, kind of like what the dog would... No. I looked at Michelle, I was like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. I just felt like right annoyed. Mm -hmm. So whether that's this male being annoyed at the dog, trying to scare the dog, or the dog is like... I wonder is that his body odor I can smell? Because every now yeah. and then it wakes across my nose. Yeah, I would say that it is. Maybe he doesn't want to cross over... Because maybe he doesn't have anyone waiting for him. Aww. Well, we can talk to him before we go and yeah, see if we can. Will. If there's anybody here with us right now, can you light up the K2 meter? Funny. <laughs> What's so funny? Do you find it funny that we're here talking to you right now? Can you touch our light again? Whatever spirit is here, touch our light. Do you have a message? Regina's okay, you know. She misses you terribly and loves you dearly. Massachusetts. <laughs> That's a gun. So it sounds like me. Stock market. But the next net. Pierre, you said that your gun is not here by yourself. What message would you like to send to her? Would you like to send a message? No energy. Well, you've been touching the lights a lot. Thank you. Who's touching the light? Who is it? Can you tell us your name? Wow. Idiotic. Idiotic? That's not very nice. <laughs> Who or what might be idiotic? Are we idiotic for sitting here asking... Somebody who's not physically here with us questions? Or is that maybe what you find funny? We would love for you to talk to us. You're, you're using a lot of energy to touch our lights and light them right up to red. Thank you so much for letting us know you're here.
please tell us your name. Idiotic. What's idiotic? Do you find us asking questions of somebody who's not on a physical realm with us idiotic? Are you angry that we're here? I'm glad you're not angry. Was that you, Pierre, lighting up the lights like that? I don't feel like it was. I feel like there's somebody else. Is that you, Uncle? Is that you playing with the light? Aha! Thank you. Is that you, Grandmother? Is your name Anne? Ooh! Oh, did I just capture that orb? Shit. Oh, yes I did. Get it? Yep. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, you did. And then when the picture stops, it's up at the top. Mm -hmm. I knew there was something right there, too. And I, I can see there's dust around. Of course, it's a basement, but it's not the dust that I was seeing. Anybody have a spear box going at all? Or? I'll put that Actually, just give me a quick set first. Marcel. So Marcel's energy again. Why are you here? There was such a suddenness to his passing. There's like a real quick feeling to his passing. You're confused. You're what? Why are you here? Dagmar. He wants to talk about Dagmar. I know, I just, I don't know what it is about Dagmar. When they come back, please remind me to talk to her about that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, please do. Oh, please do. Oh, please do. What's over there in the corner, you said? There's a little closet there. There's something over there, too. What is in that room? We didn't go and look at it, but that's where ESLS subbed it off. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, yeah. Whatever was there is still there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Sam. I think it was Francois. Okay. Francois, come forward, please. Why are you here? It's like when I ask that, why are you here? I hear, I don't know where else to go. Uh, 
I don't know where else to go. Are you stuck here, Francois? Is there something that's keeping you here you, you can't pass over? Oh, he's, he's... When I ask him that, I hear him say it's like I'm stuck in cement. Oh. Can you light that up for me, please? Francois, just to show that you're here and validate what I'm saying. Is that temperature change? That's upstairs. Upstairs. In the room. Right below us. Or right above us. It would be like over there. Over there. Okay. You're back. Can you make some noise for us, Francois? Yes, we are back. Come sit here with me, please. Oh, it's almost like I felt the big body just poof. Okay. You're sitting right next to the K2. Why don't you touch that a little bit for us, please? There you go. Keep it going now, okay? His energy definitely feels denser. And that makes sense when he talks about that concrete. I just don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Tingle. <laughs> he, um, Francois, you're really making me feel like, um, you're afraid to let go. You're afraid to let go and to be on the other side with your family. You just don't know where to go. Here goes my thumb again. Someone's touching my thumb. Yep. Francois, so are you willing to leave here? Like, we want to negotiate that with you, right? I feel uneasy, he says. Oh, you don't... He doesn't know where he's going to go. That's what I know. I know. I know. But it's okay. It's okay. You're not a bad person. He's telling me I'm a bad person. I don't know where I'm going to go. But that's not true, though. I feel safe here, he says. And I understand that. And we're not pushing you, buddy. We're not. But this is where the living live now. And you've passed away. And you can't you can't stay here. It's not good for you. And it's not good for Regina either. Oh, and he's there's a kindness connected to this man because I can see him put his hand on his heart and he says, I'm truly sorry. He keeps talking about someone, I don't know if this is his daughter, there's something about, uh, he talks about her as if she's a little girl. And he, he's really attached to her. She's still here, she's still here, he says. There's a female, it feels like he's talking about a daughter, but I know it's a female that feels very, he feels very attached to her. I want to help her, he says. But Francois, you can't help her when you're here. You're leaving yourself stuck here. He talks about somebody that's visited his grave. And she's sad about, about him passing. Can you touch the K2 for us again? Let's make some energy go through there, Francois, please. Just want to make sure you're still here with us. People think I'm crazy if I'm talking to an empty chair. <laughs> it's okay. Trying to be lighthearted with them. 
<laughs> yeah. So keep, yeah, light it up a bit more for us, okay? I know you don't, you don't mean harm, you don't. <clears throat> but there's something that you're allowing to keep you stuck here. So, you know, before we leave here tonight, we'd like to really talk to you more and see if we can get you to pass over, like to truly let go of the life that was here and let go and allow yourself to really be free. You don't have to be here anymore. You don't have to punish yourself. You don't have to be scared. Oh, I feel like he wants to hold my hand. He says, thank you. He's just been so confused. And that's okay. He liked Table. Pierre. He liked Pierre. Yep. It's okay. Yep. Keep smelling like wood smoke around him. Okay. It's like he wants me to pass him a smoke. He was definitely, a, there's like smoking something. I keep smelling smoke around him. Yeah, he says yes. Yeah. Yeah, I feel whatever happened with him too is very much in the chest. He's like a barrel of a man. Okay. Who else is here? Ask them to come and join us, please. Here. That man won't leave the closet to get him to even come here. Well, we need to ask that fella to leave. Because that fella is tormenting the dog. <laughs> One of them's laughing. I, when I ask Pierre, like, or I ask the family to come and join, and we get that sense that Pierre's here, he almost comes with, like, an authoritative, this is my house, my house, and, yeah. Table. It's kind of like the two of them are sitting there and starting to have a conversation. He's like, this is my house. It's time for you to leave, he says. Okay, it's all right. I know that Francois means no harm. He really does not. And I know that Pierre knows that too, but he's saying. Oh, and then all of a sudden, it was so strange, but I get peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> peanut butter sandwich. Who liked the peanut butter sandwiches? So you, Pierre, there's someone I know the two of them. Peanut butter or toast and peanut butter, there's something. Maybe that's that alert pop in the closet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when we go to leave here tonight, you guys really have to help us. Oh, he even says now about the old fella in the closet, like, he doesn't mean any harm either. No. You know, he's just there. I just felt something touch my back. Yep. Over here. Huh. Are you the one that touched my back? Dave, Pierre wants to talk to you. I'm listening, Pierre. Oh. He, um, uh, he gives me the feel he's, he didn't just leave the military because of any physical or mental stuff. It's not just that. He gives me the feel that, um, I didn't like how the military changed <laughs> and he's oh, he's trying to make me really aware of like um, the boys aren't men anymore they're not men it's not wrong yeah he laughs when he says it too though right like but it it bothered him mm -hmm. yeah so much bullshit, he says. So much bullshit. <clears throat> it bothers a lot of us, Pierre. Yeah. But we're the old dinosaurs, so we're not the new generation. Yeah. This is what it's going to, buddy. <laughs> God fucking help us. Yeah. Basement. 
I don't know if that's... Is that me? No, it wasn't. Okay. No, Pierre, did you enjoy a drink, buddy? Yes. <laughs> what are you drinking? What are you drinking? <laughs> wow. When I'm asking him what he's drinking, he wants to share it with you, Dave. What's he drinking? It's Drambuie. Oh, hey, that's an RCR thing. <laughs> You're a bandu. That's funny. He wants to have a shot of Drambui with you. Sure. Anytime, my buddy. Anytime at all. Assholes. He says assholes. Like he just, he just got so fed up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he tells me too. One of the things that kind of pushed him over the edge, he got raked over the coals, he says, for something. Yeah, and it just sort of pushed him over the edge. Yeah. Is that Was that what finally made you really make the choice? Because it doesn't feel like you wanted to leave. Yeah. Yep. Huh. Yep. Oh, just all of a sudden, I feel like both of them just poof, gone. Just like that. Just like that, just poof, gone. Oh, I get freaking chills upside my head, but they're just... Well, well. What was that? I love that. Shut that up. Who is that? There's someone else here. Mm-hmm. The female? Gra grandma? 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 I don't want to say like Grammy or Grandma. It's like. Perhaps Grandma? Guys, I can't speak French very well. She can't speak to me because she doesn't know English. But I feel her presence very, very strongly. Oh. Okay, who's the one? Okay, I know you're here, but who is the one that's been messing with the cross up that has that Regina has? It's me. Who's me? Who's me? Who's me? Yeah, keep lighting that up, that up the K2. Come close. Who is that? I know that the fella in the closet doesn't mean any harm, but he creeps me out. He really does. How are you? Is he an old perv? Well, I wouldn't call him old perv, no, but when I'm asking, like, who played around with that cross, I'm really brought to the, the attention of him, but it's almost like he doesn't walk out. And when I say slither, I don't mean, cre like, bad, but it's just like he's, like, down on the floor. He's a crawler. Or something, yeah. Like he doesn't he's not walking per se, like just keeps the flashing on and off. Mm. Okay. But you you've gotta go. Gerard. Either Gerald Gerard. Yes, Ooh. please. That's my Google translate. Okay. I asked who was here. Oh, okay. I was say, who's speaking such a clear sentence? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you, you're you going to have to go. It almost feels like him, like, leaving through gritted teeth. Like, he just doesn't want to let go. Hmm. Pierre, Francois, are you guys still here? I'm here. Oh, that's Pierre. I'm not hearing from Frank. Frank, where are you? Frank, are you gone? Are you good? What's going on? I almost feel like... Oh. <coughs> I almost feel like Pierre sitting here and saying, this is my house. The energy over here changed. Pierre, did Francois leave? 
don't know. What do you guys feel? What, like, tell me, what are you feeling? I just feel light. Hmm. I've been feeling that woman off and on all night. So that's her, yeah. She, and she's not talking. She's not talking, but her presence is here. Well, yeah. We had that when we were down here earlier. Huh. I'm upstairs. And I, it felt like grandmother, but I didn't know that there's been a female. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that too because I was getting like the grammaire or whatever. Mm. Oh. Okay, weird. Spicy chicken. <laughs> Spicy Come here. Chicken. What is that? Oh. My phone. While we're down here, has got. I'm trying to open that one open. God, it's not easy. Have you been before, question mark? Stay with me. Where am I, question mark? So I'll just wait for um, the other one. So I wonder if someone's having a conversation about passing over and being scared to do it, and whoever's here asking them, like, have you already gone over and what's it like? Yeah. I meant I changed something. Change something. Change. Are you telling me change? Something about a change in a will? Change in a will. Change the words, change the person, change something in the will. Change on paper. I'm filled with sorrow. It's not okay. I'll be back.